Hello and welcome back to Breakdown. Since last episode, I don't like the way that creeper's staring at me, but since the last episode, I managed to get back from that little incident with the rain, and yeah, pretty much what happened was I died around here, or I was stuck in the hole, but something weird happened. I didn't die of starvation, and I could not break blocks because I ran out of health to the point it was, you know, I was super slow, I was out of hunger, yet I wouldn't die, so I had to end up killing myself by using commands. I ran back, got my stuff, mined some here, came over here, and then I noticed this. Meteor, 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 nether portal meteor. That should be correct and right, too. I think it said in the chat a meteor crash and a nether portal opened, and I started looking around, then I noticed all these meteors, and I was like, oh god, I have to stop recording, and yeah. So, uh, yeah, we can now get meteors. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. I just died, came back, started mining, heard about the other meteor crash, looked around, found this stuff here. I mined a few off camera before I started this, but then I decided I should wait to do the rest all on camera. So, yeah. So, I didn't really get to prep much about the nether portal or the high oven or all that kind of stuff because I've been here. Hmm. Not getting much more meteor. Since that stuff probably won't disappear, let's go check out that. Yeah, that's another portal one. Well, this seems like a bit of good news, bad news. Uh, good news, that is correct and right, and another portal over there, which is kind of ironic, because we went all that work or spent all that time getting stuff ready to make another portal, and now there's one right there already active. Bad news, it's turning night. Hmm, I really want to get the correct and right, though, before it all turns into lava, because I know it kind of does that from what happened in other stuff yeah and i think this pick should be able to mine it because it can mine obsidian so uh yeah pick and mine it so we definitely have to try and get all the correct and right we can because correct and right is very very valuable uh oh that's a lava monster oh no that's just lava <laughs> the way i had it peeking over the stuff made it look like a lava monster and not just lava but yeah, Krakenorite is, uh, dangerous to say the least. And, uh, last time I saw this kind of stuff, they can spawn those alien creepers, which are how you get the red meteor gents, but chances are they're gonna one-hit me before I can realize what's going on, because they'll just spawn behind me and go simp. And then I'll have to run back. Oh no, it's cooling into obsidian. Have to mine it quickly. I'm worried about night, though, but I can't leave the Krakenorite here if I wait... To come back tomorrow, we'll all be gone, probably. So, yeah, that's not good. Okay, uh, one thing I realized, it's dark and we're far, far from the base. So, uh, I had one little idea of how to get out of this predicament. It's probably not a... Oh, God. Well, guess we don't have time to think this through. Oh, so, um, here we are in the nether. This looks really creepy without lights. I forgot how dark the nether is. So, yeah, this might not have been the best idea to jump into the nether like that, but I didn't have much of a choice. I'm not sure if time actually passes out there, but at least we can look around at the nether now. And uh, the problem is I don't have any supplies really with on me uh, do i have anything in here oh i did have some stuff in here not much really useful just a few torches that's not good i did get a lot of cracknerite though and uh let's see yeah we can probably make full cracknerite armor and enough spare to make some of the meteor crash detectors if we can get some red meteor gems but yeah i don't think we can really do too much in the nether because um we don't have a strong enough pick to mine the good stuff Oh god, thirst. I forgot about thirst. Yeah, this was probably a really poor idea. Yeah, the nether is really spooky with uh, advanced darkness kind of stuff on. I've seen it like this once before when I use shaders because shaders also make it very dark. Oh, I just realized something. I need to avoid these pigmen. I need to get out of here before something happens. Uh... I remember when uh, me and Purple were playing on a different mod pack. I think it was uh, Magic Farm that had special mobs. And uh, it can summon angered pigmen. 
So yeah, let's get out of here before one of those pigmen decide to turn hostile and they all turn hostile. Okay, well, uh, I made a few trips back and forth in the nether and kind of secured this, made this side a little look over so you can look out. And this side where we can actually walk out. The problem is, uh, it's almost day. There's still some Kragnarite I'd like to get when morning comes. But the problem is there's a lot of mobs, including skeletons and lava monsters. And the big problem is, um, if they hide under here, I'm not sure if they'll burn. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to find out soon enough. Okay, well, most of them seem to have burned up, but I'm very low on water, and there's a lava monster and a fireproof zombie down there, and I'm not quite sure how to get down. Hmm, hmm. Oh, God! Hmm, that didn't go well. Uh, I don't think I can survive a jump now. Uh, how am I to get down? Yeah, I think that fall will kill me, so I'll have to go out the other side, but I can't... Oh, God, there's another one. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Apparently die. Huh, <sighs> this is a really long walk back and forth, but I'm almost back there, and oh my god, there's spawners, an arrow spawner, and hmm. You really would like to find a tower spawner with, like, flaming arrows and a spawner below it. That way I can just turn into a farm where the arrows automatically kill the mobs for me. That'd be great. So yeah, I died right over here, and since it was so far away, all the stuff, all the mobs anyway, should have despawned by now. Now, there's one little problem I'm faced with, which is the portal. I'm not sure what to do with it. I don't think I should leave it there. Yeah, I kind of don't want to break the only working nether portal. Okay, I made a little staircase up here, and I think for the moment I'm going to have to break it. <sighs> I kind of don't want to, but we already saw how harsh the nether is going to be, and I'm not sure if I'm quite prepared water-wise, and it's just too far to keep coming back and forth every time I want to access the nether. So I broke it. I'll leave the empty portal frame here and let's make the trek back before it turns night again. So I went to look at the map real quick and yeah, there's a lot of meteors. There's a site here, a site here, a site here. So that one we found all the way up here is probably not even worth going to because as far as I know, these meteor sites actually don't go away over time. Only Freezerite and Kragnarite seem to actually slowly decay back into whatever they're made of, water or lava or ice and obsidian. One of the two. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to head back and... Oh, actually, that's a lot closer than I expected. Let's just see if we can go over there real quick and hopefully not get blown up. Okay, so apparently this is how meteors do work. Uh, in Ascension, I noticed this where under the crash site, there was a whole bunch of meteor too deep for a huge square. And it seems that's how it works because I think the meteor crashed up here but because it was the hill, it spawned it visibly. So, yeah, we have a bunch of meteor to mine here. Uh, I'm not sure how much I really want to mine now, because I don't think there's too much useful I can do with this. And, yeah. So, I'm not getting much meteor from these now. I think you get more when they're active, and once they cool, you get far less, or something like that. Makes sense, anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, head back and leave the meteors here. We know there's a lot if we need to come back and mine them, but we have Kraknerite, and Kraknerite's way better than Meteor anyway, but, and I do have enough Meteor just to get some magnetism if I wanted that, and I think I'm being shot at. Nope, that's just an arrow trap. Okay, well, I made it back, and I was sorting stuff, and I realized I don't have much clean water left now. I only have one canteen, and my filter's dirty, and I don't seem to have string, so I started working on making string. You do that by taking tough bindings like this, and then when I have enough, I take them and do that, and one string. Huh. <sighs> You really fly through those books, and now I can clean the canteens. Yay. I'm not sure what to make of this, but it's raining now. So, I can't really do much until the rain stops, or at least the outside stuff. Good thing I was inside, and I have stuff to do inside. Also, I have some bacon. That's what happens when I kill something with a, a tasty tool, which is, in this case, uh, this has tasty. So, yeah, occasionally I hit something with the pickaxe, and it died, and I got bacon because of it. Not complaining. Okay, so I've been doing some checking and searching and preparing, and I've had enough aluminum left to make some alumite. And now I can make an alumite pickaxe head. Please be alumite and not aluminum. 
Alumite. Now it can mine up to Cobalt. Yay. So now we have a pickaxe that is better than this one, which can only mine up to Obsidian. And this should also be able to mine Ardite, so now we can go to the Nether and mine all the stuff there. So, uh, since I don't have any reason not to, since I have some spare, let's, uh, make a tool rod out of this too. And that still leaves us with some Alumite and Aluminum spare. Hmm. Well, since I can't think of anything better to do, I'm just gonna make another pickaxe head and tool rod. And that will leave us with one ingot worse. Oh, I never made an ingot mold. Hmm. Well, we have one aluminum in there. I guess I'll just leave that there for the moment. Also, over here, we have the nether portal, which I can't seem to light. I know there's a trick using lava to catch wood on fire and have it spread and light the portal, but the lava here doesn't seem to boil and catch nearby things on fire. See, it doesn't have anything jumping out of it, so I think one of the mods might have changed how the lava works. Either that or I'm just being really stupid and not getting it right. Either way, I think it's better off to uh, just make the high oven and get the steel for a flint and steel than keep trying to light the portal like this. So I'll be working on that off camera so we can get the steel. And at least we have the spot picked out. I decided it was good here. That way it's not like in the base, in the way or anything. And that way if anything comes through, we still have a door protecting us at least. So yeah. Well, I think that wraps up this episode. But before I end it, I do have the pickaxe all ready to be made here. And uh, just because I'm bad at naming. And the last one is pick pick. So let's call this one pink pick. Does you know, it's the pink metal. So yeah, now we have a pickaxe that can mine up to cobalt. And it's pretty durable. And it has four modifiers. So I have to look into getting some modifiers for that. And yeah, we're making good progress. Now, we not only have the pickaxe, we're close to another portal. Just need to get that steel. So I will work off camera to see if I can get the, you know, whole high oven build around here. And uh, I also have the stuff here, Krechnerite and some meteors, so I can make some armor from that to upgrade from iron, which would be nice. But I don't want to make any right now until I think it over a bit more. And the last thing I can think to mention is that I might look more into uh, making some more of the casts for the different tools. Because now that we have a smeltery, we can make the good ones, like cleaver, battle axe, and all that stuff. So instead of trying to upgrade my sword right now, because I actually don't think the next one will give more damage than this because I think Iron and Alumite are pretty much the same tier damage. But once we get to the Nether, we will get better materials to give higher damage. So I will look into getting some of those other casts ready and look into maybe some cooler modifiers. Smite would be great. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and until next time, goodbye.